Hi there, I'm Shelly from Metal Designs and I'm just going to do a little demo about our laser texture papers and how we use 140 pound watercolor paper as our backing to make the best imprint. So I've had a custom order for metal, so um, they don't have a rolling mill, so they've asked me to roll some patterns for them and they wanted some pieces of 20 gauge sterling that are one inch by three inches and that fits perfectly in our berries zoo pattern. So I'm just gonna give you a quick demo on how I get amazing results with our watercolor paper. The first thing I have done to the metal already is I've annealed each piece of metal so that it glows nicely and the color moves back and forth two times pickling in between. I find that nice soft metal, um, clean and pickled and now it's gonna look a little bit milky. To set my mill, I take the metal and I press it between the rollers. You can step around here. I press it into the rollers just so that it's tight like that and you see that it leaves a little scratch. So I know that it's tight to go into those rollers. So once I add my, pa my texture paper and my backing of 140 pound watercolor paper, I know I'm gonna have the perfect tension um, to get a very good imprint. So I lay my metal there. I sandwich it with the watercolor paper. It has to be the nice 140 pound paper, not cheap dollar store paper. And then I nice and smoothly and slowly roll it through my wonderful 130 mil flat Pepe mill. I love this rolling mill. And then out the back side, we get paper, paper, and beautifully textured metal. The texture is nice and deep. You can feel the texture in it. Um, and now it's ready to make whatever project you want. So I'll do that one more time. I cut my texture. And as you can see, I'm only putting enough, um, I'm using as much paper as the metal sits on. Where did my other metals go? Oh, they're so white, they look like paper. I put my metal on, so I've got a little bit of, a, of an edge of the texture around the metal. Now this piece that I'm snipping off, that's totally reusable for another project. I can use that piece a second time. The stuff that comes through the roller goes straight to the garbage because it's been spent. You can see that the impression came into the watercolor paper. And if you feel this piece, it's quite a bit flatter than it was. So I just, I don't even bother to try to reuse those pieces. I don't want to mess up silver on, on paper that's been spent. So here's my pattern, my metal, my watercolor paper. And I hold on to my sandwich until it's into the mill far enough that I might get my fingers because I don't want it to slide or to shift. And if you, as soon as it starts to feed, if you take your hand off too quickly, you will, um, you'll see slippage of your, of your texture in your paper. And there's the nice deep metal print. One more. Okay, one more, here we go. Nice and smoothly into my mill. Holding it nice and tight so it doesn't slide. And out comes that beautiful texture. Every single time. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, let us know.